Hey guys, it's Nate with Skid Steer Solutions, and today we have the Yanmar VIO 55, and we're super pumped to have this guy here. This is our second machine that we brought in for 2021. 2021, new year, and we got ourselves a new machine, the ASV 120F. Today we're just been going over some of the features and specs of this machine. We're gonna do a walk around and kind of show you some of the great things about this, uh, this excavator. So one of the reasons we went with the Yanmar VIO 55 is really the performance specs on this one. You have over 21 gallons of auxiliary hydraulic flow, allowing us to run a really wide range of our attachments on there. So we're gonna be doing some demo videos on this with post drivers, stump grinders, maybe some mulchers on here, as well as some more basic stuff like augers. But it's big enough where we can lift up some of the bigger attachments and you do have a 47 horsepower motor as well, giving you a lot of power and performance. So one of the nice things about this machine is just how well we've noticed it's built. It comes with a lot of great features, like kind of the uh, cylinder guards here. That's just gonna allow you to, you know, not bump into stuff and not score up your cylinders. Uh, the other nice thing is the hydraulic thumb has really a lot of purchase on these. These teeth actually really grab into stumps and stuff. So it's gonna give us a lot of, a lot of opportunities to pull some stuff out and probably get some good footage of it. Um, we got it with the hydraulic quick attach too. So really easy, you can easily hook on and detach from attachments. Um, this is where our auxiliary hydraulics are gonna go. We actually haven't even put those on yet. Um, so we'll be putting those on in the next week or so and uh, getting a couple of hydraulic attachments hooked up and start playing with it. So obviously people think a lot about the bucket and they also think a lot about the attachments you're putting on the end of the stick uh, when you think an excavator. Um, but one of the things that's really important in my opinion is to have a really good blade on the front. Um, it allows you to give you a really good amount of down pressure and kind of level out where you're at. Allows you to have a little bit more of a stable platform when you're operating. Um, but the other nice thing is it's great if you're doing some backfilling or you know filling in ditches afterwards, even doing a little bit of land leveling. So one of the nice things about the Yanmar is the serviceability. Um, you have a lot of easy to reach grease cirques that are very easy to get your grease gun in. Uh, so you know you can service it and keep it running for a really long time. But also underneath the engine to get into the hood, do your service on your motor is really easy. On this, you just pull up on it. Uh, you can just drop up. It's just gonna latch. That's gonna give you access to your air filter in there. You're gonna have your fuel tank as well. Um, so that's really easy just to have access to and get to. Uh, you can also walk around the back here and you can open up to get into the back. You just pull on your lever there. That's gonna open that completely up. And then you can kind of see, you can see all your different stuff, water separator for your fuel, as well as oil and all that. And then if you really wanna get deep inside there, you can actually just turn that latch right there, remove it and actually just open it all the way up. And that's gonna allow you to get inside and actually see your battery as well as your hydraulic reserve tank. So the tracks on here, um, we went with the rubber tracks. That was just the right way for us to go for the videos and some of the stuff we're gonna be using it for. Um, but you can also go with steel tracks on this one. Uh, so it does give you versatility, especially if you're doing a lot more forestry stuff. Um, also on these tracks, really easily serviceable. If you do need to tension the tracks up, right there is gonna be your grease cirque to do that. Um, and then in the back is gonna be your gear oil if you need to change that. So on here, um, as everyone knows, you can generally switch your controls on um, excavators between Cat and John Deere or standard. Um, and so in here you can just reach in, open them up, and you can just switch the controls. Um, I'm always curious what people like using a little bit more. For me, I like standard um, or cat, but uh, you know, we'd love to see what you guys use. So we went with the total enclosed cab for the Yanmar. Um, just for us, we're doing some mowing and stuff like that, so we don't want debris coming back on us. Um, and also, you know, honestly, it's we're in Washington State. It rains a lot here. We still want to be able to do work and do some videos even, you know, 90% of the time. So we figured we'd go with the enclosed cab. Um, one of the things that's really nice about the cab here is it has actually a lot of space inside there. Um, as I've been just kind of using it over the last couple of days, been really impressed with how much room you can kind of spread out. I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm 6'4", so uh, I can really have a lot of space in there and feel comfortable. Um, it's really nice as well. We have AC and heat in there, which makes it great for, you know, we're in Washington, so it's in the wintertime, it's pretty cold, uh, but you can be nice and toasty inside the cab. But, you know, a lot of our operators, a lot of our customers are in you know, California, Florida, um, those places you can turn the AC up and also stay nice and comfy while you're operating. We're really excited to get some more products and attachments on this and do some more demo videos. Um, if there's anything in particular you would like to see, go ahead and leave a comment below. As always, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see some more great content, subscribe to our channel. Uh, you can also find other great information at skidsteersolutions.com and we'll catch you on the next video.